Hi. Okay, so um, we're going to work on making these flowers and then putting them on our wreath. We have a grapevine wreath. It's 12 inches. And I have the flowers cut and the leaves cut. And you're also going to need a flower shaping kit. And you should have one of these. And then you should have one of these, four of these, with several of the... Uh, metal pieces that you need so let me get mine the ones that I use out and then you can kind of size yours to match you're going to need some ink and you're going to need some glue and you're going to need a smudger and I I used both of these I used this one and then I used these little finger daubers and so you have to kind of decide what you want to do. When I did the yellow, let's start with the yellow. Put your put your mat aside. When we started with the, um, you need two pieces of this and two pieces of this. And you're going to put a little bit of glue in the middle, not clear at the edge. You want it white and you want it darker in the middle and then getting lighter at the edge if you can. And, and this is actually the easiest, the dauber, to go ahead and do that. And I used yellow. Once you've done that, this is the only place that I use this kind of glue. And so you can decide for yourself how you want to do that. But... Um, Basically, what you want to do is, before you start gluing, you want to go ahead and, and get your mat. And then I used a bigger ball. And I just made, you don't have to push a lot, just kind of roll it around. And you'll see it start, and you do that to these too. And then I've already glued two of these together. Offset them if you can. They're a little bit hard, but offset them. I'm going to move my mat so I don't get glue on it again. But then I went ahead and I put these two together and I put two of these together. And you might have to hold them to kind of get them to go right. And then I just kind of pushed down on it in the center so that it, it held. And then I'm going to put another little dot of glue in there. And so I made all of my yellow except this one so that I could kind of show you what we're doing. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that in the middle too. So once your glue is dry, go ahead and kind of work that so that it, and I'm using a smaller one this time because then it'll try to wrap around that. And you can see it's kind of started to take shape. So let's put that aside. And I'm going to show you how to work with your other pieces. Now, I'm going to work on the big leaves. You have bigger leaves and you have smaller leaves. And then you have some strange looking leaves like that. So in order to do the big and small, they almost look like maple leaves. I start kind of down here in the center. I'm going to hold my center and just gently, I'm going to make a line so that you can kind of see when you see leaves, they have veins on them. And I'm not pushing real hard, but I'm trying to get that vein to pop out a little bit. And I'm using a smaller, not the smallest, because that'll poke a hole in your paper. Um, let me show you the difference. I have some really small ones. And they, they're graduated. And you can see this one. Oh, I have something on it. That's okay. This one in my right hand is very, very small. And this one's the next one up. So you want the next one up because... It, it won't poke a hole in your paper. If you use the really small one, you might get a hole poked in your paper. So let me put this away so I don't lose it. 
And then once you have all of your veins in, I don't have this one done. Let's put this one in. And I, I did the veins on all of my leaves first. Then once you have that done, you go ahead and use one of your bigger tips. Not the great big one, but one of your bigger tips. And again, I can show you the sizes. I have a really big one. And then this is my next one. And so I'm using my next one down. Yeah, it's magnetized. <laughs> so let me put that away. Okay, so once you've done that, keep your little mat under it and in the center, start going around in a circle lightly and you can kind of come out into each of the leaves. You can see I'm not the whole way up, but at least a little bit out. And then in the center, I'm going to do that. Okay, so once you've done that, you can use a pencil or a glue stick. But you want to go ahead and kind of wrap these edge, the ends of your leaves so that they get a little bit softer. And they'll kind of start looking more like real leaves then. And the way they grow is the way I do them. So if, if it's going up to the top, I pull it to the top. If it's going to the side, I kind of wrap it to the side. And so then you have a leaf, and you might want to go ahead and, and do that again. Now, if you have the ink, it's best to do that before you start anything with your tools. And so you'll go ahead and use a darker green and just kind of, kind of do it in the center here out a little bit, if you like. But then we're going to go, go ahead and, and glue these in after we get them all finished. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a flower. And the flowers are really fairly easy, fairly straightforward. Um, there are two sides to your paper. One is very textured and the other is very smooth. Try and find the textured size. That's the side I've used and it's, it's worked really well. So again, starting in the center down here towards your opening. And then you put three lines five lines on these. You don't have to take them clear to the edge, but you do kind of have to get your lines. Then I'm going to switch it and I'm going to start again in the center here and go out to my middle, two to the side of that middle, and two to this side of that middle. And these are called primroses and they have a little bit of texture to them like this. So you're going to do that to all of your pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and work through mine. There, I went a little too hard and I ripped it, but that's okay. Sometimes flowers get ripped on the stem. A bug eats it or people trance mess it up or, you know, so I don't as long as it's not terribly bad and affects the structure. If you rip a little bit, I don't know if you can even see that where I ripped it right there, just a little bit. Okay, so those are two big ones. Here's my third big one. Now, this is what you need. You need three larger ones. And I have purples here. You need three of the larger ones and two of the smaller ones. Okay, to make a primrose. Three big ones, two small ones. And this will make a primrose. And I'm almost done with this. I have one more petal to do. And then we're going to glue it. Now the flowers I haven't smudged at all with ink. It's just the lighter green um, leaves that I've gone ahead and smudged a little bit and it gives it a more realistic look when you start getting these glued in. So let me get my um, glue gun, my hot glue gun, and it takes a minute for this to get hot so I'm going to turn it on now 
um, ears will too. Remember, this is a hot glue gun. It is hot and the glue sticks are hot also. Okay, so I have that done. I'm going to go ahead and push that aside. And so what we have are three of these and two of the small ones and one of this. Okay, so I'm going to get my mat back down again. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and kind of soften the center a little bit so that it starts to look like that. And I'm going to soften the center of this one. And you can see I'm going a little bit into the flower and then I come back into the very middle and do a lot of it because then that flips the leaves up a little bit. So I'm going to soften this. And then I'm going to come into the middle and get those leaves to go up. The petals, I guess they are. Same thing with this. I didn't get that one quite right. And you can see it kind of cups. My, my flower cups. If you just do the center, it won't cup. It'll just start to fold up. So if you do a little bit into the flower on each of the petals first, and then do the center, what that does is it softens it and makes it come up just real soft. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is you want to get your pencil and um, I put the way wrong. Where did I put it? There we go. I have a neat little tool, and I'm going to use my tool, but again, you can use your pencil. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and roll these around our pencil. And I pretty much do everything in the same direction first. And then for me, it's easier if I flip it to the back side and put the other side on and then roll it towards myself. And so your leaves are going to start to look like this. So we're going to do all three of them, or all five of them, before we start gluing. And that's why I turned my hot glue gun on, so that it has time to get a little bit warm. Because hot glue, it won't work if it's not hot. You have to get it pretty hot. And this is just a skill. I just go ahead and lay it on there. Kind of round it at first, hold it with a finger and a thumb, and then start to roll my tool. And the same thing when I go back here. I kind of pull that over, I hold it with two fingers, and then I roll it. You can make all kind of flowers. We've done roses, we've done all, all sorts of flowers um, with nothing but this tool. I know the Big Shot and uh, Heartfelt Creations have molds that you can mold flowers, and I have a few of those, and I really like them. But there's something neat about doing it with your fingers. It's tactile, I guess, and I guess I'm a tactile learner, and so I really like it when I can touch things. Now. If you like to just do them on the front side, you can go ahead and roll it. Because my tool is smaller at the top, that's why I turn it. But if you're using a pencil, you don't have to, you don't have to flip it. Okay, one more. Okay, so I always put my mat away so that I don't get glue on it because I've gotten glue on some and ruined them. They're not good to make smushies then. Okay, so my hot glue gun should be ready. Now I want to separate these. I want my big ones on one end and my small ones on the other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a little dab of glue right there in the center. Oh, I need a glue stick. Sorry. I love this Ryobi glue gun. Uh, my husband has Ryobi tools and so when he was getting me a glue gun he found Ryobi had this one and it's really cool because it has no wires to plug in it's all battery and 
and I really like it. Okay, so primroses are offset, so these ones are going this way. I want this one to go in between those two petals. And I'm going to push that down a little bit. Let it cool just a little bit. And then I'll put some more in the center. And we take the next big one. So remember, we have three, and I'm going to offset it again. And it's kind of in line with this, but you can actually offset them a little bit more if you want to. So I'm going to push that down. Okay, now we're going to use our two smaller ones. And again, we're going to offset these two smaller ones. And I'm putting it in between these two right here. And I'm kind of holding it a little bit. Remember, you you can burn your fingers with this hot glue gun. This is really hot. my pokey so that I don't get glue and I do have glue on it but I, it comes off really easily it just dries and then you can kind of pull it off you'll get little strings everywhere so and I think it's a little crooked so I'm gonna move it just a little bit there so the next thing I want to do is I want to open this up just a little bit so that I can put my yellow one in and I'm gonna go ahead and put you can put glue on the yellow or you can put glue in the center of that doesn't matter And then I'm going to actually put my little ball or my poke and I'm going to push that right down into there and I'm going to hold it for just a few minutes, just a few, maybe 30 seconds until that dries. It gets cool. It cools off and it, it grabs the paper really nicely. So you can go ahead and make all of your flowers and then once you have them all made, you go ahead and add it. Now, in the pattern, we were told to put the green leaves on first. And I'm not happy that I did that. I wish I had gone ahead and put the flowers on and then poked the leaves around it. So this, again, is a personal preference. Um, it's up to you how you want to do this. But I'm going to go ahead. Right here is where my next pink one's going to go. And I'm going to put a lot of glue in there. And before it gets dry, I'm going to go ahead and push my flower into that. And then I'm going to hold it for about a minute. So once you've done that, you want to hold it because you want it to dry. Otherwise, your flowers will pop off. And so I have one more purple one to put here. But the other thing about these leaves, then, once you've gotten them, you could put some, some of the big ones around the flowers first and then start with the little ones. But this is a personal choice. It doesn't matter how you do the leaves, really. Um, it's gonna be pretty however you do it. You can have some of them sticking on top of a flower a little bit, you know, kind of like that. Um, poke it in there and get it pushed down. It, and you can tell when you're done holding this that it won't, it won't give as much anymore. It'll be kind of dry. Okay, so. I hope you've liked this. I hope this helps you. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be pretty. Put it on your door. I have one of those metal um, wreath holders that goes over my door. And then at the bottom, it has a little uh, U that I can just hang this on. So I don't put anything permanent on my door. But those are really cool, too. You can get them at Amazon or even at some of the, the fabric stores like Joanne Fabric or uh, Michaels. Okay, so there we go. I have one more flower to do. I hope this has helped you uh, have fun. Oh, and you can see, see how I've gone ahead and smudged that leaf? Let me pull it up here a little bit more. And it just kind of makes it mesh into the darker green a little better if you do that. And so before you've gone ahead and softened everything, you'll take one of your finger picks and dab it in your ink and then just kind of go softly 
around in circles and that kind of you can push a little bit but you don't want the edges to get it just that very center okay i hope you've enjoyed this have fun let me know if you need help with anything i'd be glad to help you okay bye okay so i'm going to do a couple more flowers just to to show you how i like to do them um, i know in the video the other video and the tutorial video it shows you just to put your green leaves down and then start putting flowers on well I didn't like that because the flowers got stuck on the paper leaves and that's an easy way to rip so I really like to make sure that the flowers are connected to the grapevine so let me show you how I did that um, I put four in already and then I'm going to show you how you can you know go ahead and put your other ones in and I only have three finished so they're going to look a little bit <laughs> strange till I get this last one done but let's go ahead and, and just work on one for now and I know that I'm putting them in between the pink ones and I basically have three leaves um, that I'm going to work with I have two light ones and a dark one and what I do is I kind of decide where I want the flower to go and then I will put some hot glue not much just a little bit on my leaf and then I will kind of pick that up and remember basically where I want it to go I kind of want it to go on this big um, vein going through here now I brought in this because hot glue is pretty hot and I'm going to hold it on with my my metal ball and what's nice about these is if you get hot glue on them it just peels right off so I'm going to hold that till it's a little bit cool okay and then I'm going to go ahead and put my flower back in there and you can kind of see you can see some of the leaf which is which is kind of cool so then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take another leaf and I'm going to put some glue on that one and then I'm going to kind of think about where I want this next leaf to go and I think I'm going to put it back here so I'm going to lift up my flower a little bit and push it in place where I want it and then hold it for a little bit until it cools. So you can kind of see I'm leaving a little space right in here for my flower to get attached to the grapevine. And the first one I made, I made it exactly how the instructions told me. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there so that will catch and it won't worry about falling off. I made it exactly like the tutorial showed and I put all my leaves down and I I really worried about my flowers coming off now I, I finished the wreath and I put it in my door so if the flowers start coming off at least I know how to either fix it or go ahead and make a new one okay so there's two leaves on so I kind of gonna put my flower here again and I'm going to attach this leaf right about here so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put my hot glue on that right there and stick that on there and then hold it for a little bit until it gets cool once it's cool it's pretty much a, a, almost welded to your paper and to your um, grapevine okay so once I've done that I'm going to put quite a bit of glue on this flower. You can see I'm making a big puddle. And then I'm going to try and get it right in the middle of there. And I'm going to use this and hold it for about 30 seconds. Now, what, what you're going to see is you're going to have some spaces between and I've saved what I started with were the bigger leaves and I will start sticking those in where I can and where I can't then we always have these littler leaves we have all kind of little leaves and I don't have mine softened with my um, 
with my little tool like this one is but once I get these softened then I'll start sticking them in and hiding as much of the grapevine as I can you can stick them around the edges here on the outside you can stick them so that they you know stick up however it makes you happy okay that, oh, that's not gonna stay yet we're gonna hold it down just a little bit more It takes a while for that hot glue to, to, to kind of cool, especially when it's layered like this. It'll get a little bit weird. So you want to go ahead and do that with the other, all of your uh, flowers. And if you're comfortable putting all the leaves on first, I uh, the first one I did, I put all the big leaves on, got them adjusted. And then I started filling in with all these smaller leaves. There's all kind of little leaves that you can put in there. Okay, you do want to be careful because even holding through paper, hot glue is very hot. Okay, I hope this helps. If I think of any more tricks, I'll make another video, excuse me, a video for it.